guys, my name is Brittany Joanne and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't think I've ever said my full screen name out loud in a video before, but my name is Brittany Joanne, welcome back. We are in the Christmas spirit as you guys can see. I am so happy. I love Christmas decor as you guys found out in my Christmas decor haul. I did do like a little sneak peek last Christmas at my dad's house. I did decorate my room a little bit, but this is my own space, my own vibe. And I cultivated the ultimate winter wonderland cozy vibes I could imagine in my apartment this year. I am so, so happy with the way it turned out. I'm honestly shook. I didn't even really look at that many like inspo pictures. I kind of just had this idea in my mind. Same thing with my regular apartment decor. I kind of just started thinking about stuff that I already like and I just put it all together. For not thinking a lot of this all the way through, I think I did a pretty damn good job if I do say so myself. I actually have two parts to my decorating series. Today you guys are going to be seeing the apartment decoration. So my living room, my kitchen, my bedroom. I did not film my bathroom mostly because I haven't done it yet but I'm only gonna put like two things in there, just some greenery, some random berries. Like I don't really do that much with my bathroom because I like to make everything as functional as possible. But I went off in my living room, as you guys can see, a little sneak peek. I love my kitchen. I didn't do that much in my bedroom, but you guys will see everything that I did include, little Christmas pieces. I'm so happy with the way that everything turned out and I cannot wait to go through December with you guys. I hope you guys are having a great start to your December. Come along with me, get a drink, get some cookies, Cookies, I definitely did in the middle of this video and come decorate my first apartment ever with me All right, you guys starting out strong getting in the Christmas mood We are turning on the Santa Claus a classic for me in this household. Okay I love this movie and since I mounted my TV. I love the fact that I can move it around I'm going to be starting in my kitchen So I love the fact that I can turn this and watch TV while I'm decorating y'all. It's the little things. Okay, so Let's get started. So we're going to be starting in the kitchen. I'm going to be fulfilling my gingerbread decorating fantasies, but first we need to clean the surfaces. Starting out with the Clorox. It's like a disinfecting mist, real bougie, real cute. I'm starting out with that, and you guys will see later on, I go in with like a festive Miss Meyer scent, but I really love just straight up Clorox, just a really deep clean, and I hadn't deep cleaned my counters in a minute. <laughs> Right now going in with the Myers Miss Myers clean day love this one this is limited edition and this is the peppermint scent and I'm just going over everything with that we're starting out with this beautiful beautiful gingerbread house that I got from Pottery Barn and you guys will see more of it as the video goes on but I am obsessed with it I got this gingerbread tree from home sense I believe love I don't love the glitter but I will Deal with it for how beautiful it looks. Starting out in this corner, I'm using this gingerbread lane sign that I got from Michaels. I am obsessed with it. And the wood matches perfectly with that wood, or like, you know, shade lighter, um, with that drink making station that I have. So I decided to put that behind that. That tree is also from Michaels. These coveted gingerbread houses. I didn't get the third one from Pottery Barn. I'm punching the air theoretically and literally as we speak and those tea lights underneath there are from Target's Threshold brand. This candle is from Bath & Body Works. The other one is from Home Sense. I love the Home Sense one doesn't project as much so that's why I have the other one there to help her out a little bit. This spoon rest lover. You guys know how so excited I got in that video. That was like five bucks from Home Goods. Obsessed. And this sign is also from Michaels. The hot cocoa sign really just brings this whole corner together. I love it. This 
bowl is normally in the middle of my kitchen. It's kind of like a little centerpiece, but for Christmas, I thought I would put some bells in there. So those silver bells are from Michaels for literally five bucks. I just cut the stems off of the ornaments and those gold ones were from Target. 10 bucks in the threshold section. And this is an overview of my kitchen. I love it so much. I love the gingerbread theme. <laughs> time for me to take a cookies and cocoa break i totally forgot that these cookies even existed the pillsbury ones with the trays on them y'all know i'm obsessed with mugs and i just bought so many christmas mugs so i decided to pick out my fave rudolph the red nosed reindeer girl i'm doing hot milk for this cocoa and we're just adding the cocoa mix and i found some gingerbread whipped cream at target y'all so good if you guys have not tried it run don't walk to Target and just a marshmallow to top it off. I'm gonna be doing a um, couple of cookies, a little bit too many, but I um, I wanted them and tis the season and trees, it was everything. And speaking of Rudolph, we are going to do those dish towels. I actually got a couple of dish towels from Joann's as well. So I'm just gonna be switching them out throughout the season finished the santa claus so now we are switching to home alone and lucky clearly is over me decorating for the night i don't even want to tell you what time it was you'll see glimpses in this video but i was literally decorating till like 4 a.m this day you guys it was insane so i got these plates also from pottery barn and i just could not resist guys the amount of money i spent in pottery barn should be a crime i am sickened but i love everything that i got and look at them all right up next the thing that you guys know i was the most excited for if you've been watching my past videos and vlogs i could not wait to get this tv mounted and now that i finally have it mounted i can finally decorate my tv stand that white box in the middle is actually the xfinity box for my wi-fi i had to keep it on there i didn't want to put it on the floor and jeopardize the connection so i kept it on there but i worked around it i did my thing i got this garland you will see it later in another part of my apartment this is from target and and it was $30. Um, it has some pine cones, flocking, different, you know, patterns of the leaves and the greenery. I loved it. I did fluff it out and I <laughs> thought it was a good idea to put six foot lights on six foot garland. I knew in my mind that it wasn't going to work and I just clearly didn't listen to myself so here's me wrapping it and you will see me later unwrapping it and using a 20 foot garland instead it allowed me to wrap tighter and to just make it look more full with the lights <laughs> so here's me realizing that i messed up and i'm going to be putting those on there <laughs> Okay, now for the pizzazz. <laughs> when I said pizzazz, I think of herb pizzazz. If you know, you know. Okay. Um, these trees are from Target. Love them. And that candle is from Hobby Lobby. It's called, I think, Fresh Wreath. It is such a nice scent for somebody that hates fresh cut smells like fresh cut grass, fresh cut trees. That does it in such a subtle, good, but strong, extreme projection, you guys. But doesn't make me sick those candles yes candles girl those three candles were from crate and barrel literally like two or three years ago don't even know if they sell them anymore but i got three at the time and these houses unfortunately i did not find them anywhere these were from target literally <laughs> like two years ago i was so excited for christmas that i started shopping before i even had this apartment years ahead so i'm so sorry but they have similar things now especially those houses right there these reindeer i don't I think they actually do still have these at Crate and Barrel. Um, I really wanted the third one that has his head down, but I never got it. So those two are from Crate and Barrel. They still sell them. And those silver trees that I'm going to be putting in the back of this little forest village situation are from Hobby Lobby. And everything at Hobby Lobby was 50% off. If you know, you know, I talked about it endlessly in that haul. And here's Lucky again. 
so i am just going to be lighting that candle seriously you guys cannot stress enough the projection on that candle i don't know if it's all hobby lobby candles but best believe i will be back to find out if it is <laughs> or if it's just that one but very very good quality and it was half off so it was 10 bucks at the time of me purchasing it and this is the finished TV stand. I love it so much. And you guys, I did install that cable hider myself, so it's a little bit ratchet at the bottom. Do not judge me, okay? I tried. And you can't see it when I'm sitting down, so everything's fine. This is the bookshelf portion, I will admit. This was a struggle area for me. I had an idea in mind and it just did not pan out the way that I wanted it to. I initially wanted to put some of these things that I'm going to be putting on the bookshelf on the nightstand, but once I got the vision for the nightstand, I kind of just had a couple of things just empty and kind of not really in place. So that teeny tiny garland is from Target. I tried to put the stockings here, but as you can see, they are too long. So I ended up putting them on the other side of my kitchen. It's not even an island, guys. It's just a sink that I use as an island. <laughs> and I have a B for me and an L for Lucky because this is our house. I've actually had these stockings for like I said, I went shopping a lot, guys. It was two years ago, but they still sell them at Target. Um, that is the reindeer that I initially wanted to put on my TV stand because the woods match so nicely. It kind of almost blends in, but I just couldn't find the balance and flow. And as you can see, I struggled finding the balance and flow here. So I actually ended up using a tray that I already possessed for my regular decor some trees those three trees are also from target that candle i think is probably from home goods a couple years ago and this deer it's not my best work but hey it looks cute it's just the bookshelf and i'm obsessed those two champagne trees on the sides are from home scents last year when i was living at my dad's house and i did decorate with those as well if you guys want to go back and look at those vlogs now for the lanterns guys <laughs> when I lived at with with my mom at her house, she complained about these lanterns because I never used them. I just bought them in advance, and I'm so glad. I have no regrets. They do not sell these anymore. The specific style. These were from Target, and those candles are also from Target. And they are battery powered. They have a remote. They're everything. I'm obsessed with the lanterns on the floor. Top tier, A plus. So this is my round one with the couch. You will see me redecorate it later after I finish decorating the tree. Again, that tree decorating will be a whole separate video because I really popped off on that, okay? But if you're wondering, this first round, these ornament pillows are from Hobby Lobby. Now for my bedroom, I really just wanted to keep it kind of simple in here. I wasn't planning on doing any type of red until I got this pillow from Kirkland's. It's a candy cane pillow and I just went off of that i was just planning on doing the sheets at first which you guys are seeing right here from the wonder shop collection at target i think it was about 30 dollars for the set i love them and i just ended up using my regular decor pillows as usual and that candy cane pillow that i will show you guys later i love it and all the kirkland pillows when i got them were on sale for either 20 or 25 percent off if you guys saw the decor video i am still on the hunt for that gingerbread but in the room i love the candy cane pillow <laughs> stop there i got two more trees these are the alpine fir trees they were half off y'all when i got them off of target.com and i got the four inch and the five inch and i am just going to be setting those up pretty easy and doable at this point it was like 4 a.m kind of like it is right now it's 3 5 a.m right now as i'm recording this voiceover send help y'all but this is what i ended up doing right before i went to sleep this night and i'm obsessed that's a taller one this is the four inch one and i love it oh my gosh i said four inches this entire time y'all okay it i told you it's 3 a.m <laughs> i'm struggling four foot four foot and five foot trees this is a nativity set i got from target as well you guys black jesus black mary black joseph i'm living and i just put this together on that corner shelf that i showed you guys in my last vlog and this is the completed 
bedroom look i love i'm obsessed i actually use those trees as a night light because i don't have a tv in my room and fun fact i cannot sleep in the pitch dark i cannot do it i will never do it i have to be in true love in order to sacrifice that for somebody but for right now we are going with night light trees all right as you can see from my hair we are in current times i am doing the mirror um we are going to be doing garland and lights i knew again with the lights i don't know what's wrong with me and this mathematical equation inside of my head but these are two 20 foot lights i knew that i only needed a 20 and a six foot but i still did the 20 and 20 so you will see later i changed them and i did 20 foot around the wreath and six foot to connect to get to that extension cord so what i'm doing is i just took some duct tape and i put out varying sizes along the mirror i'm going to be attaching them to the lights not the actual garland uh i thought i could wrap it up there don't know what i was thinking so i took my butt back down and wrapped it on the couch so pre-wrapping it before putting it on the mirror obviously is going to be the best but even though this garland like i said before is six feet this took a lot of patience i was definitely frustrated i don't know if you could tell with my face but i was so over this so i put it on the mirror I'm taking those varying sizes as you can see and I'm showing you guys I'm just putting it in between the lights and then just sticking it to the mirror the back of this mirror is unfinished anyway so I figured it wouldn't even if it does ruin something back there it's gonna be paint or cardboard I'm taking the last parts of the lights wrapping it and I actually taped the remaining lights behind the mirror as well so you can't see it when I'm walking around taking some glass cleaner and just cleaning off that mirror because god knows i have not cleaned it since i moved in a year ago <laughs> so this is the completed mirror this is one of my favorite parts of the house and i did get that idea from bay bay hay from like three or four years ago this is me revamping the couch y'all i got this throw initially for my bedroom but i figured it would go way better in the living room so i got this from home goods 20 bucks run don't walk okay i got these ornament pillows that you guys saw earlier but i forgot to cut the tags off so i did that and now we are doing snowflake pillows lucky came he was curious again to join in on the party and i fiddled with the pillows for a minute longer than i showed because it was embarrassing but this was the completed look with the couch i'm obsessed i love it i think the throw blanket definitely ties everything together and i'm so glad that i thought to put that there when i decided to do that candy cane situation in my bedroom so that was the couch now we are going to be cleaning the pantry and i like to call this my makeshift bar card y'all the inventory for the bar card is looking real sad in this video i'm very um disappointed in myself but i really wanted to get this out for you guys and i didn't want to wait to buy more liquor but just know that the liquor is coming okay we are going to be wiping this down with the miss myers again and starting to decorate now y'all know i put this in the very beginning of my haul i love that snowman from crate and barrel and i had to put him somewhere this little reindeer is from home sense i don't even remember how much it was definitely less than 20. speaking of reindeer do I need to say it again? I have talked about Rudolph so much, it's almost embarrassing <laughs> in these Christmas videos, okay? So I got those wine glasses. I got those bells, like I said, from Michaels, but I didn't cut the strings off this time because they were just gonna be in that bowl. Um, and maybe I'll use them next year. That gingerbread I also talked about, and it is for my remotes this year. So this was the bar cart. Really need to read Atomic Habits, so it's just sitting there to remind myself to read it. <laughs> Alright you guys, this completes my first ever apartment Christmas decor. Like I said, if you guys want to see my Christmas tree decorating, definitely stick around until next video. I cannot wait to post that. I am truly shook and surprised at how well the tree really came out. There it is in all its beauty. I love her. And that is it for you guys i love you thank you so much for supporting me throughout this year my content has changed a lot and i hope you guys are noticing i'm putting my foot elbow back into this editing process i and the filming i really hope you guys enjoyed i love you and i will see you in my next video hopefully bye guys <music>